Bleachies from Mocha Yarns. In this video, Janet's going to show you. It's always Janet showing you. I know you think she's the only one that's knitting, but she is. <laughs> she's going to show you how to do the different steps of moss stitch or seed stitch. Because like you said, it was hard to find things for moss stitch, right? Yeah. So maybe if you're looking for moss stitch patterns, also look for seed stitch because it's exactly the same thing. Uh, this, this is just the way that I do it. I know that different people do it different ways. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you and never... Well, the end result is you want it to look never, like that. Never forget, I'm easy. I like, I like simple. And that's the best way. Simple is the best. So this one is single moss stitch. This one is double moss stitch and this one is double double moss stitch. So I'll show you them all. I'll just do a couple of rows on each. So I'll start with the single single moss stitch. So what it is, all it is is knit one, purl one. And you just have to make you just have to make sure that you're going the alternate than the way than the row before. So if you see here, I'm going to knit this stitch. I'm going to purl here and knit knit here and so I'm knitting I'm knitting the opposite to what the line before was so I'm going to start knit purl whoops knit purl knit purl and it's I've heard people call this popcorn as well oh yeah mm -hmm. and so you can see it kind of just gives it a different texture now I sometimes like to use this in ribbon just to give it a different just to give it a different look and I find well it's okay on mittens or gloves for a rib um, I'm not um, I've done it on sweaters before so that is a row of knit one, purl one, and then I would turn it around and then I would start, if you can see where the purl, the purl one is, purl is there, so I need to be knitting on top of the purl, so that would be a knit, 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 so I would be knitting on this one again, so knit, purl, knit, Purl. What you're actually doing is you're just doing you're doing the opposite of the stitch before, and you can you can see you can see the pattern developing. So I hope that's helped with moss stitch. So it's just an alternate stitch, knit, purl, knit, purl, and then on the next row it's the reverse of what you've done, purl, knit, purl, knit obviously depending on the on the stitches but it it's it's like rib it's like doing a knit one purl one rib except that you're doing lines this is alternate okay now this one is double moss stitch so what this one what this one is is exact it's exactly the same except you do two stitches you can see one two one two you do it on top of each other so it gives you it gives you a longer stitch so this one would be knit purl knit Purl, knit, purl, knit, and I'll just I'll just reverse it and come back. And so you would go purl, because that one was a purl stitch there. So you would do the purl and the knit. So it's giving you it's giving you the double, it's giving you the double stitch. The purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and then so every two rows you reverse it. 
So just like the single moss stitch, except every two rows you reverse it and it just gives you a little bit more pattern where you get two, two, two. The next one I the next one I have. Now this I've heard this one called double double before, and I've heard it being called basket weave. Basket weave is slightly different and sometimes more stitches, but I have seen this one. I have seen this one called basket weave as well. And what it is, it's called double double. So you do two stitches of each, and you make sure you have them lined up on top of each other. So the two pearls there would become a knit, two knits. I just hope you can see this on the yeah. uh, on the camera because it's yeah. So knit, knit, pearl pearl and then I'll just come back again and so where the knit is you go knit knit pearl pearl knit knit pearl pearl so it just gives you there's four stitches together in the pattern and it just gives it again something with a little bit more texture so I hope that answers a few people's questions about moss stitch it really does look like a basket looks like you did weaving yeah that's exactly and and usually basket weave probably has more like three to five stitches mm -hmm. but uh, this one also makes a nice rib or if you just do yeah, it it does and also if you're only doing like maybe how many are here two four six eight of them and a dark color that could make a belt yeah and because it looks like those belts. if you just want easy too it's perfect and it on a scarf because you get it both sides and it's really nice so that is the double double that is the double <laughs> and that is the moss stitch if there's any questions by all means uh, just ask us ask, in the comment section and we'll try and answer best we can so we're just going to try and throw up a whole bunch of these short videos with short techniques in them because now that it's christmas you might be thinking i'm tired of garter stitch been doing garter you know i want to do something a little different in a gift like a scarf like this gorgeous you know? oh you know what really nice a cotton place mat oh yes very nice coasters anything yeah whole bunch of things so hope you guys like those stitches and we'll see you next time and bye, bye for now <laughs> we sounded like sick sheep that time <laughs>